I think that the difference that Le Mans has compared to any other event, any other motorsport event that I've ever been to, or actually any other event as well, is that the fans are part of the endurance too. You know, if you're there for the Le Mans weekend, uh, as I have been a fan in the past, you know that, that you're part of something big. You're sharing an experience with thousands of thousands of people and you're going through this night together. Yeah, the build-up, it's a whole week, you know. And so I told Paul last year, his first time, is just don't let the pressure get to you because it just builds and builds and builds and, you know, you're waiting, waiting, waiting. And But it's exciting. They make such a great event out of it. It's just really a great event. Yeah, I mean, it's just a... A massive, the exciting weekend, as you know, being there, the amount of people, the amount of fans, and um, it's just something. It's just got that atmosphere that no other race has got. I think. I mean, you know, it has to compare to something like Indy or Daytona, and um, no, it's just fantastic to be a part of it. And especially going back in the P1 car this for this year is going to be interesting for me. Obviously, we've run before in the GT2 Aston, um, and that was incredible. But I think the track's going to be a whole new ball game with this uh, with this LMP1 low. So um, really looking forward to it. I think we've got a really good chance of you know having a good result, um, and we're learning all the time. Obviously, we've got Manuel here this weekend, and um, to get some more practice in, obviously to learn the car a little bit more. Not that he needs it, but it's nice to obviously all come as a team and all kind of work together uh, in preparation for Le Mans. So no, I think we should do really good. There's something really special about going back in LMP1 after doing it in the, the GT car because I can remember being at Le Mans in the GT car, going down the Mulsanne saying you've been in top gear, flat out for what seems like forever, and then an LMP car goes past. And I want to be in one of those, I'm thinking. I think it does, it changes your outlook on the race, obviously. The way that you would, you know, use a safety car, for instance, is different. The traffic uh, is different, obviously, before we're getting used to being passed all the time and you you use the faster cars to your advantage and um, and it's just the same here. So you can use the, the GT cars to your advantage if you're fighting with other, other P cars in the race. And um, I think it's, uh, it's something that we're, we're obviously learning. Um, Dale's got an awful lot of experience with GT cars and a lot of that transfers over to LMP, but obviously, you know, everybody's still in a learning phase now. And um, like I say, it's nice to be here at Laguna now and um, a six hour race as well, especially is helpful, you know, so we've got a bit more time. Um, but no, I think, um, I think we're, we're gonna have it pretty well sorted out. Well, it's, um, it's a new dimension for me. Um, first time in a non-works team. I, I drove Sebring for them and Laguna Seca and uh, I feel already really part of the team and uh, it, it's a smaller team and it makes me feel more important in the team. It's, um, it, it's a very nice experience and on top of that the, the Lola is a really nice car. It's fast, like user friendly, so it, it's an easy car to drive, easy car to handle. Well, I've learned so much at Lamont. When we ran a Porsche, we worked with some of the best uh, people that have ever run Lamont. You know, it's some really knowledgeable, experienced people. So uh, I've taken from all that, and, and hopefully, you know, we've got some new things to add. And I'm always learning. Hopefully, watching the cars uh, at night at Lamont, going into the chicane before the main straight, and it's just beautiful because you, you at that part of the track you've got the the fun fair going on it's all starting to light up at night and you can hear all of that all the lights are coming up and then you've got these cars screaming towards you you see the lights coming on in the dark and then they've gone past brake hard into the chicane and you you watch that and you think oh this is so cool